what's up beautiful people in this video i will be showing you how to set up and start seeding your hydroponic system if you are using the spider farm hydroponic situation let's go what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joseph don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joseph don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joseph don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones, and you're back again for another video. And like I said, we will be setting up more specifically showing you how to set up your system. Like I said, if you are using the Spider Farm hydroponic system, which I will put a link down below if you haven't bought yours already, or if you have, you probably already know what's going on. But let me just show you what is going on to show you how easy growing hydroponically can be, okay? And so I'm gonna make sure I do a thorough analysis and demonstration of what you should do how you can do it but then also show you you know how to put seeds in the uh, pod scenarios okay and show you how everything that is in the box is for what you're gonna be growing so let's go ahead and get into it I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking <laughs> oh first things first what you have to do is as I showed you all in the unboxing it comes with these little uh, cocoa core type uh, seed holder scenarios um, but what you want to do is just go ahead and soak the ones in which you are gonna use which for this demonstration I'm gonna show you all four I'm gonna do four and seeds and then I have some seedlings that I have been growing which I started in another video <laughs> but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and start these bad boys they're gonna need to soak for about three to five minutes just making sure that the water is definitely saturated with this whole scenario right it's more like a sponge it's not anything of value as far as nutrients is concerned but it does hold the water which is necessary for the seeds and the seedlings to do what they need to do which is grow 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 so we're just going to put that to the side while we further connect everything that needs to be connected and so what i love about this system is that it comes apart in parts uh, large because this is where the water will be um, this is the base in which you know you're able to have your power and all things like that and so you're going to notice that this is going to be very handy because your seedlings will be here and which i'll show you all that good stuff but then your water is going to be here which you're going to have to refill and all those different things the different aspects of your water and so just having it all in different components is going to make life so much more easier so shouts out to you spider farm for doing it that way and so in the little baggie what you have are let me show you up close what you have is your pump scenario, right? This is where your water is going to be pumped out and filtered through. This is going to be a cover, which you all will see. But then these are some dome uh, coverings and things like that that we're going to use as well. And so with this here pump, there's a hole right there in the center. And it clamps down. And there's like a um, sound, right? A, hey, I'm in here sound <laughs> that you hear. And so what I also will do is plug this bad boy in because I do want to show you all it in operation. And so we're just going to take apart the power cord, plug the power source in the back. And so from there, we're going to plug it in. And so it was already ready to go. Now what they do ask you to use is the sealed water which thank the lord i picked up the last two gallons um, because you're going to use a little bit over a gallon it says i think it was like 5,000 uh, milliliters which i was like what is that and so it equated to a little bit over a gallon so i picked up two gallons of water to do this bad boy and yep that's very true because there is a water fill line in the front area right here which you'll be able to see and things like that which once it does lower beyond where it wants it to be as far as the water is concerned it will stop working which is a great fail safe feature but then it also requires you to be attentive to it all and with it all so I'm gonna just do it from there for the sake of what we have going on and then, like I said, we're just going to put the lid back on. And now you're seeing, ladies and gentlemen, why having it in different parts is so very vital. Here you have the covering that I was talking about. Now, this is vitally important because this is where you pour your nutrients in for the system and things like that. And so then what you want to do is have your pods ready. Okay, so you're just going to put them in there 
like we saw I have four soaking right now and then the dome areas like I showed you all before nothing needs to be thrown away but the dome areas creates like a greenhouse effect as your seeds or seedlings are growing and so that's pretty cool but then even too when you aren't using a particular hole um, you could either put it like that or cover it like so but more than anything you just want to make sure things are covered okay because water will be coming out of these holes if you don't cover them um, so do make sure you do that okay and so let me just see something whether or not it's beneficial to put these in here as well uh, not necessarily all right so from this point ladies and gentlemen what we do want to do is now man we might be ready to go ahead and start seeding these uh sponges but i do want to show you all what the power so you have like i said a timer you have either 16 hours four hours eight hours or 12 and it is going right now i might as well even show you all what it looks like without the top boom so the water's just making sure it's cycling staying aerated which is vitally necessary for the health of the water which you know like plants outside of just being in water they definitely need oxygen <laughs> they need nutrients and so having the water being filtered like that keeps it nice and aerated in which they do have openings here to make sure of that as well and so we're going to from here let me show you all actually some nutrients that i did pick up which really isn't necessary as you are growing the seeds but i do want to show you all it because you may be like, oh, I'm gonna get it, but I need to know what system to get. So what I ended up picking up was the Arrow Garden um, feed. I did a little research, and this is the one that I was seeing that was most popular out there in the aquaponics world, especially in the systems like this. And so what it says to use is four milliliters. And so I now have my little measuring cup, and I do mean little because milliliters are <laughs> a measurement in which you usually don't use unless I guess you're a cook which I am far from <laughs> to say the least but nonetheless we're just gonna go ahead let me keep that down there because it's only a little bit and that's already too much and they do say more is not necessary don't overfeed your plants that doesn't do them any well any good alright so from there let's just go ahead and pour it in here Boom, and like I said, that's all it takes. And so they say to do that every two weeks. Oh, there we go, it just wasn't in there all the way. So there we go, boom shakalaka, the lights are on. It's on veggie mode because I will be growing vegetables. And so I'm gonna just turn the power off for now. And then uh, let's go ahead and get these seeds going so that we can put them in the system. Awesome sauce, so at this point, what we want to do is get your seeds ready in which I'm gonna be doing some spinach in the front. I have some kale seedlings that I've already started that will go in the uh, back two rows. And of course, I'll fill you in on how that grows and how this all grows. So make sure you click that bell notification so that you are aware when those videos come up. So I'm gonna put the seeds down, which I don't know if that's gonna be a good move or a bad move. <laughs> but nonetheless, with it all, now it has like a nice fuller spongy type filling in which ultimately that is what we were going for so that now the seeds themselves will have something to hold and to bear them and so what you now want to do is to put as you would um, in the soil two seeds per hole um, and then you know you'll be able to as you would in a normal growing system you'll be able to pick out the stronger one of the two seedling. And so, you know, I like to put it in there and just make sure it goes down as far as it wants to go. The cool thing about this system is you don't have to force anything because the main ingredients to make this all grow is the water and the light and the uh, air that's being aerated through the system itself. And of course the nutrients, if I didn't say that, so all everything is here right it doesn't have any soil or anything to fight through so that's the beautiful thing about hydroponic systems and things like that all right so from here what i want to do is just cover these bad boys like so put this to the side because we don't need this part anymore and now at this point we turn the power on we'll put it for 12 hours it's on veggie and it'll be good to go. The idea is that the light should be as low as it can be 
which it is at its lowest point right now. And then at any point of the growing system, the light shouldn't be no more than four inches from the top of the vegetation itself. And so everything is doing what it needs to do. Everything is here, ready to go. As you can see, the water table right there, it is at its max. So I did stop pouring at the right area. But more than anything, as you can see, it's all the way. So it's 6,000 milliliter. Okay, I thought it was 5,000, but there it is, 6,000 milliliters. And so, as you may or may not be able to see, we have it at 12 hours. It's on veggie mode and the power is on. So it's just gonna keep cycling and things like that as the um, hours prolong and go. And so everything is doing what it needs to do. It sounds magical as the water is being filtrated and things like that. But um, hey, we have a system going. <laughs> All right, great people. So now it is in its new home and is the destination where things will be able to grow and blossom and bloom from there. Hopefully the uh, spinach grows great. And like I said, I do have some seedlings, some kale seedlings that I have started that I will put in there. So even with that, make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so that you can see when I do updates of those things, which I'll do it when there is something visual to see and not necessarily like just every like two weeks or something like that. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll even show you how it will be necessary to raise the light and things like that, but just show you how it goes, how it flows. Now, like I was saying, the food portion of this, it says to do it every two weeks okay and so i'll even be mindful and definitely um share with you all if that means as well changing the water which you know two gallons of distilled water was only like two dollars and maybe three dollars tops right and so it wasn't a bad deal so hey do what you have to do it does say use distilled water as opposed to tap water because of the different things that are in tap water um, that may clog or just you know disturb different things in the system so definitely follow what it does says if you do want the results that they do suggest that you will get okay so you know follow instructions those things go a long way but in it all with it all we have it all set up i'm excited about the way it looks it's nice and quiet so really it could be used indoors um I may bring it inside. You all know I change things on a regular, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But it is nice and quiet. The motor's quiet. Um, I don't have any problems with that. And everything is copacetic. There's no leaks or anything like that. So shouts out to you, Spider Farm, for having a brilliant, nice system. And again, the links will be down below for this here system as well as the food, the growing food for the hydroponic system, okay? And if you have a food that you use that wasn't this one that you do recommend, definitely let us know in the comment section. I'll give those things a look and uh, we'll be able to grow out of what is necessary for us, okay? So with it all and it all, I appreciate you all. I love you all. I'm excited about this system because it is something that I wanted to do. And this system, the Spider Farm hydroponic system makes it easy, okay? It's like a one, two, three, four step system and we are off and growing. So I'll keep you all posted. Make sure you all stay tuned. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Happy growing, happy living, which will lead to a happy, 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 happy belly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you. Peace. <laughs> ah.